Hey guys, so um, I decided to start filming this literally in the middle of putting epoxy onto this cup. <laughs> that, we'll see how, how this goes. Um, so I posted a couple of videos on some Facebook pages over the weekend and I got some responses from a lot of people asking for some kind of tutorial on how I made the cup and the cup in question is this one here. Um, oops, as I drip the epoxy. So that's the cup. Um, and I got some requests for a tutorial. I initially went online and actually tried to find another to something I could point people to, but I didn't find anything that really reflected what I was working on or what I did. To be honest with you, this is an amalgamation of a lot of different uh, things because I was watching, I basically binge watched a ton of shipwreck uh, Tumblr videos and a lot of this comes from that. Um, nothing I'm doing here is revolutionary, straight up. <laughs> like you've seen every single thing I'm gonna do here. I just could not find a tutorial for this kind of look that I did um, for uh, like for Galaxy with all the steps that I did because I did see some people basically asking or saying well you just put alcohol ink on it and just let it spin that's really not what I did um, if you just put plop alcohol ink onto this cup or onto any cup it will just create horizontal lines and if that's the look you're going for go for it it's not the look I was going for so I decided to kind of go a little further than that and what I'm doing right now is I've applied about, I don't know, 17 milliliters of alumilite epoxy that I heated in a water bath so it was, it got pretty bubble free. And I've left about this much left in here for some white. I don't particularly want a ton of white on this cup because I didn't want it obscuring the glitter. And, um, you know, the, the white is just, is, is more subtle, I think, than a lot of uh, other Galaxy cups that I've seen. And there's nothing wrong with being unsubtle. I've got some very unsubtle cups, but it's just not what I was looking for for this particular, this particular design. So again, very, very generous amount. Um, I'm gonna be, oh, the glitter I used on this, I forgot to say this, the glitter I used on this is a mixture of Desire Junior and Garden District, both from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And with the exception of the cup and probably the paint that I used, you can just assume that every single thing here came from Mr. Nola's glitter. Everything from the alcohol inks to my stirring stick, it all came from Mr. Nola's glitter. So just kind of go with that. Um, and to prep this cup, I actually prepped it using another uh, thing. This is the Stone Coat Quick Coat from um, also from Mr. Nola's glitter. And a Honestly, that stuff is such a game changer for me. I think if I have time, I'm gonna do like a mini review of it after I get done with this cup. So, but anyway, so this is where we're at with the cup. It's got a pretty generous amount of epoxy on it, but it's not too, too much. It's not like dripping off. In fact, the only drips that I have came from my gloves when I just was holding my hands uh, stationary. So that's what we've got going on. And so for right now, I'm actually going to take this glove off. And here are my colors that I used. I just pretty much picked out every bright color I owned in alcohol ink. You do not have to use this many. In fact, this is probably crazy, crazy amount. So from Marabou, I used turquoise, uh, apple, uh, oh, just apple, <laughs> red orange, aqua green, uh, gen gentian, gentian, amethyst, magenta, and tangerine. And from, uh, I thought this was a pinata, but I guess not. I'm not sure. Uh, Ranger, I think this is from Ranger. This is shell pink. And then uh, from pinata, blanco, blanco. So um, that's what I'm using for this. Now, We'll come, we'll come back to this later, like just hold off on the white right now. Um, so for right now, what I am going to start off with though is, as uh, people were saying, just putting alcohol ink, that's exactly what we're gonna start with. Um, I do not have any kind of rhyme or reason for where I'm placing 
my alcohol inks. If you want to do like a really cool sunset look, you can 100% do that and it will 100% look awesome. So it's not what I did for mine and while I love the idea of basically doing that, um, I figured for a tutorial where I'm trying to recreate a cup that I already did, I should probably try and recreate the cup I already did. So I'm just uncapping all of my alcohol inks right now. That way they are available to me. So let's just put all of those right there. Ideally without getting this stuff all over my hands. We'll see. And then shell pink. So what I did though is I did concentrate a lot of the blues and the purples and the greens up toward the top. And then a lot of the reds toward the bottom and the oranges. So, all right, so just sort of putting drops all over the place. All right. And I should say, this is only my second time doing this. The cup that I did before, that was, oops, we got some falling off. Uh, the cup that I did that I posted, that was my very first time even attempting to make this. I got a lot of my information on making this, again, from watching shipwreck uh, Tumblr videos on YouTube. And so I honestly do think you could make, you could use this exact same technique for doing shipwreck, because that's where the, the, what this is all based off of is just shipwreck tumblers. So let's get a little bit of green, and then we're gonna switch to purple. Now I'm trying to fill in every gap because the stuff is clear, so even though it's all being filled in, it's still going to allow the, uh, the uh, uh, glitter to shine through. This entire thing was based off of a song called Microcosmos, and so I really want to, and I put a quote on it that says, uh, let's see, the deeper the night, I believe. Yes, the deeper the night, the brighter the stars shine. And um, so I really wanted to have very, very shiny stars. So, um, and that was kind of what I was going for. So now I'm going to move on to transitioning from purple into pinks. And, t and the oranges and the tangerines. Put a little bit up here though. I like this color. I think it's really, really beautiful and vibrant. I'm trying not to overdo it. I Again, this is my first time, or second time actually doing this, but I have heard that you can, you can in fact overdo it on the alcohol ink. It can saturate too much. So, let's put a little bit more. This stuff smells strongly. I would normally be wearing my respirator. I tried it out, it couldn't really understand me on the video. So no respirator at the moment. But I definitely suggest wearing one if you've got one. Um, that, <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly practicing what I preach, I apologize. So let's put a little green there. And then I think I wanna add just a little bit more blue toward the top. I really want to have this rim very, very vibrant if I can. Now, all right, let's put just a little bit of more here. All right, so for me, that's enough. I don't need to put any more on there. So I'm going to move these out of my way. Let's just put all that over here. And now we're going to move over to the white. Stuff out of the way. Oof, hands are going to be covered. Okay, so here, so now we have our white, and my stirring stick has fallen over. Okay, so all right, so a lot of people just sort of put the white on there, and I see a lot of shipwreck tumblers that do that. That's a bad idea, man. This stuff. <laughs> every video I watch, they just put it on there, and I saw it break up and just look like cottage cheese. 
and if that's and you know what honestly it doesn't look bad for like surf um, and that kind of thing but it's not really for me I did not like that at all um, and even some of the comments because some people asked me how I did it and I explained to them that the white I put it in um, in here instead and if you want you can add in some sparkle like I've got the Cajun sparkle both the gold and the silver from Mr. Nola's glitter this stuff is fabulous um, and you can definitely add stuff like that to this this kind of a cup um, again it just wasn't what I was looking for for this particular one but if you want even more sparkle definitely go for it so what I basically did was I just started adding a little bit I'm not really a fan of a ton of this because you can always add more but if you add too much and you start covering everything up it's not it's just again it's totally fine if that's what you're looking for it just wasn't what I was looking for um, I wanted something I'll throw a picture up on the screen if I can um, my inspiration for this wasn't a galaxy cup per se it was a the Milky Way as viewed from Earth and um, so I really wanted that sort of cosmic look, but I didn't necessarily want just a traditional Milky Way. Okay, so that's enough. I don't want any more than that right now. Again, maybe I'll add some more a little later, but for right now, that's enough. So for right now, I am gonna hit this with a heat gun uh, and starting on low heat with short bursts and um, you know, I don't want, I always get afraid that I'm going to burn my epoxy, so um, just short strokes and bursts. So just heating it up, keeping it pliable. And as you can see, it's starting to move and it's starting to get those horizontal sort of lines. And we'll address that in just a little bit. First, I just want to get stuff moving before I do my next step. Just getting things moving, keeping everything very, very simple. So we're starting to get that movement, and right now it's looking like a complete hot mess. <laughs> and I 100% get it, so this is not our final product, so I'm going to turn this off that off move it over and so what I do is I do not just leave it to go I take it off the tumbler and hold it up and down um, what we're doing is we're allowing the, uh, the 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 white to get more vertical movement rather than it all just being horizontal we're allowing it to get some vertical movement so we held it upside down we held it upright now we're holding it upside down and I'm still trying to keep this in frame for you and um, we're gonna do this several times just basically watching it watching it move and I may still add some white to this I'm not sure yet for right now I'm leaving it alone but as you can see we're not we're getting less of those horizontal lines and we're getting a lot more of these streams of white and like I said, that that's what I think is really, really cool. And then we're moving it back down. And I'm seeing some stuff that I really want to move a little bit more. So I'm just bringing that down on a low heat. And this stuff probably will drip off a little bit and that's okay so we're just kind of going up and down up and down getting that vertical movement so now I'm gonna put it back on my turner and I'm gonna tighten that down a little bit if I can figure out which way to tighten this thing it goes the wrong way why you do me like this in front of all my friends all right, there we go. So as you can see, it's not horizontal anymore. It's got a lot more 
movement to it and but the white is still pretty stark so I'm gonna hit it with more heat in order to get a little bit more mixing of color so we're just going to move this stuff around And I try to keep my movement still somewhat in the vertical, so that way we can um, keep things moving a little bit less horizontally. Now I'm going to pick this up and do it, move it up and down again because this is looking a little too horizontal for me. So we're going to do that. Hold it up and down. Now what you can also do, if it does start to look a little bit too much like lines, is you can take your stirring stick with that white and just kind of create additional dynamic movement. I like things that have what I just call dynamic movement, basically things that go around the cup in specific sort of ways. I like, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, I've had people tell me I have a very specific style and I'm very, very picky about how I want things to look. So I'm just sort of moving things around. I mean, look at that. Look how awesome that looks. So not every side is gonna look amazing. You know, that's just not how life works. But you can add, like for me right now, I'm looking at this, there's just not quite enough here. So I'm adding just a little bit more and then bringing this down. Now we're going back the other way. As you can see, I'm just sort of moving things in the direction that I want them to go. Being very, very cautious. This is a low heat again, so I don't want to burn my epoxy. And also, this is pretty close to my hand, and I don't want to burn myself. So, just sort of stay safe. Don't do anything that could jeopardize your health. And just keep things moving moving dynamically and that that is it what do y'all think i think it turned out pretty cool so i'm gonna put this back on my turner I'm gonna let this turn um, for, I used a lemon light, so this is gonna have to turn for about 12 hours, but yeah, that's how I make, that's my interpretation of a galaxy cup. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much, bye.